Well, this is unfortunately my least favorite part of a Let's Play. And not because well, of the level. No, honestly, actually, it's my favorite part of the Let's Well, play. it is now, but it, while I was doing the video, I got very, very angry. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Well, let's just go ahead and watch me dilly-daddle through here real quick, and we'll, we'll let the video do the explaining, you know? Yeah, because... What a great no-death run, JK, LOL. Bye. So yeah, we just kind of had to do that, because, you know, that's a bunch of bullcrap that enemy killed killed her. I can't say us. Well, let's refer back to the angry video game word. It's with most video games, when you get hit, you get knocked back. And it just so happens that almost every time you get hit and knocked back, there's an inconvenient ledge right there. Yeah. That Well, that ended the no-death run, and I think I die one more time in this level, because there is. I really am honestly convinced that it is really almost impos impossible to beat this level without dying. I really tried to cheat this system right here and it didn't work. Cause, they make it funny, you can't kill him unless he's at the end. And it cost me a hit point. Life thing. Tw two of them. One life unit. Yeah, whatever they are. I, I, I like RPGs, I'm gonna call them hit points. One sparks coloredness. <laughs> I like using the hacks and like the fifth Spyro game to make him red. It's not even hacks, you can buy the extra hit point to make him red. From money fags. That's the fifth one? Mm -hmm. Now, go into the store and buy a lockpick. Money bags is Russian now, apparently. Yeah, he just suddenly changed now. Oh, why did I stop? Why did I stop charging? I'm an idiot. Because no one loves you, but it gets even better. Okay, why are you referencing Billy May's YouTube poop? Well, John, now we're almost done with this Let's Play. I've only got one more world. You've got an hour and a half left. It took me an hour and a half to get through Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver's and Nasty's world? Apparently. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, it really is. Well, you know, the final gym level probably added on some time. The True. final surprise level that probably... What was I doing? Wow, I'm ADD. Why did I just go back there for that? Oh well. Ignore this part. Actually, don't. But whatever. Yeah, I don't think we know what we're doing. Because I would... You know, it's a lot easier to spot your errors afterward than it is to, you know, figure out what you did wrong. Well, you know, I was probably raving about how angry I was that I just ruined the no-death run. Yeah. Whee! So there's how to get that one. I'm sure half the people of the world didn't know how to do that. I mean, when they were a little kid, obviously it's really easy to do it. You just follow him. Right. But when I was a little kid, I couldn't figure that out. Because I would always mess up trying to follow him and stop charging, and then I couldn't figure out what path he took. There's also the green one, whose path is even more complicated. Yeah, this game likes to be a jerk. This is where the game, this game isn't hard, it's really not, but this is where the game starts getting more difficult. It's hard to play it perfectly. Yeah, it's only 10.31, we've only been recording for 30 minutes. Well now you know what time it is again. Yeah, and now you know that we don't, we didn't sit and do all three and a half hours of this at once. Right. Yeah, spoiler alert, three and a half hours long. It's not a long game, I'm, in, in fact it's... I could beat it quicker than that. I could beat it in probably just three hours, cut out the 30 minutes. Especially if you skip over Nasty's loot. I really don't know what I was doing. I was so... Keep in mind, I was raving mad right here. Because me and John, we have a tendency to get frustrated at video games. But John more so than me. I get overwhelmed easily. But Why did I choose Donkey Kong 64? I'm an idiot. It's okay, I love the game. I, I really, I really love Donkey Kong 64. And it's frame rate issues. Yes, and it's very... Well, it, at least its frame rate was consistently low. You know? 
Yeah, not like Spyro 4. And it's not one of those games where the frame rate slowing down makes the game run slower, it just makes the animation more choppy. Which is okay, but it just makes it look laggy. Basically, the N64 couldn't handle the awesomeness that was Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> the angry video game nerd. It's like, oh, look at all this stuff popping out of the side. It's like, oh yeah, the NES can't handle its awesomeness. Yeah, we, the angry video game nerd, he tends to be one of our favorite pastimes. In fact, if we knew him in real life, he would probably be in our circle of friends. There's the other green one. I have that path memorized Up, now, up, the only purple jumpy box? Nope. You know, it makes sense to make a jumpy box for a purple gem. Why make one for a green gem or a red gem? Well, there's only one for a red gem. There are more purple ones in I mean, the Nasty's loot level. Which who buys a $1,000 safe to put a $1 bill in, though? That's true, but still yet, yeah, I'm sure half the people that have ever played Spyro the Dragon have never made it to Nasty's loot because of one level in Dreamweavers, and it took me too long to figure out how to f beat that. Do you have to get all of the dragons, or do you have to get all of everything? Uh, I don't know, excuse me, I'm a girl. That was very unladylike of me. Well, whatevs. Well, everyone knows girls burp. I'm sure they've all heard it in school. Everybody poops. Okay, Family Guy reference. Oh, Viacom might ban your videos, John. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, they can't anymore. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, oh, oh. Now you're, now you're referencing The Simpsons. Who are they owned by? Fox. Uh, which is owned by Viacom. Well, then we're all good. I think. Is Fox owned by Viacom? No, Fox is owned by News Corporation. That's right. Well, then we're all screwed. No, because News Corporation doesn't ever tend to care. I mean, obviously, if you go post a full movie that's made by 20th Century Fox, then yeah, they'll care, but I don't think they're quite as Nazi about it. It's weird, though, because a couple of months ago, I watched Forrest Gump, the whole movie on YouTube. It was uploaded in parts. But that's Paramount, which is owned by Viacom. It should have been taken down, but when somebody barely references something that was in a Paramount movie, they take Wait, it down. is that Paramount? Yes, it is Paramount. Yeah, it is. Yep. I love Forrest Gump. It's my favorite movie. One of them. The other one is also Paramount and also has yeah, Tom Hanks Yeah, Forrest in it. Gump is the best movie, is, in my opinion, the best movie ever made. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not the best movie ever made. That's obviously Avatar. I forgot. Avatar's not the best movie ever made. It's just... Shh, shh. You don't want to be shunned. If you don't think Avatar is not... If you don't think Avatar is the best movie ever made, don't you know that you're not entitled to an opinion? Have you forgotten how the internet works? Hey people, get over it. Avatar is definitely Pocahontas in space. And it will definitely not be remembered in 10 years, because the one thing it has going for it, its visuals, will not be impressive in 10 years. Think Whereas, about how stuff will look in 10 years. Look at Forrest Gump or Titanic. Those movies will be remembered in 10 years. Oh Jack, I'll, I'll never, never let, let go. go. LOL, LOL JK, JK, bye. bye. There's a Facebook group for Oh, that. Edward, kiss me. LOL, JK, I'm marrying Jacob. <laughs> Twilight, ugh. Don't shun me for that one, either. When Twilight came out, I seriously was unable to finish my, at the time, current playthrough of Twilight Princess. I was playing through it, and I couldn't finish it. Because every time I saw the word Twilight... No, wait. You know why I couldn't finish it? Because I wanted to mod my Wii, and I needed Twilight Princess for that, so I had to erase my save. In hindsight, it would have made a lot more sense to put my save on an SD card, temporarily stored on my computer and whatnot, but it's okay. I have a completed save back on my system now, so it's all good. That's a Zelda game I've only beaten once. but I We do, should play through it together sometime. I do have a completed save, it's just not mine. Everyone's so excited about the new Zelda game. I am... I don't know, I'm not going to instantly start hyping about it because there are things about it that I can tell from the screenshots that I probably won't like, but I'm not just gonna, you know, judge it solely on its graphics. I'm gonna I'll see some screenshots and stuff. This iPad is so conveniently right here. What's the new one called? Skyward Sword, and it uses the Wii Motion Plus, which it better come packaged with one. You know what? Honestly, I'll just go buy the Wii Motion Plus by itself because. Well, never mind. Not gonna discuss that. Images. Did you find any? Hmm. Basically, it's cell shaded but with adult link. It's probably not gonna be that bad. 
So do a g regular Google web search for Skyward Sword image for Skyward Sword screenshots. Saving again. Oh yeah, I know exactly why we were saving because we cut the video.